Hello and welcome to the video for third grade for Wednesday, April the 15th. This is going to cover lesson 10.5, uh, working with our problem solving questions for elapsed time. So to start with, let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Um, for the moment, I'm just going to do the unlock the problem and then the two share and show questions that I assigned. I can't remember if I actually assigned all three of these, um, but I'll do one and three, and then if I was supposed to do number two, I will include that in the comments in Google Classroom. So um, we're working on trying to be on time for a flight that's at 9.15. We have to arrive at the airport 60 minutes before that, which means we need to be at the airport by 8.15. Um, and in some cases, we might need even more time with that if we are flying. Uh, for those of you that have not flown before, 60 minutes is usually kind of pushing it close uh, because of security checkpoints and getting checked in at the ticket counter and all of that. Um, we need 15 minutes to get to the airport and 30 minutes to get ready to leave. So we're going to count back um, 60 minutes to find out uh, what time they need to arrive at the airport. We are going to count back um, the amount of time that they need to get to the airport, which I believe was 15 minutes. I may be getting those backward. Yeah. So 15 minutes. Um, for the airport and getting there and 30 minutes to find the time that they need to start getting ready because it's going to take them 30 minutes to get ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of cheat and count backwards 60 minutes. So 60 minutes is the length of one hour. So if I go ahead and take my first 60 minutes, I would change 915 to 815. Hey, uh, and that's a really uh, bad looking five. Sorry about that. So this part here is going to be 60 minutes. And now what I'm probably going to do is count backward five minutes at a time, but I'm not going to write everything underneath here. So I'm just kind of abbreviating this portion. So five, 10, 15 minutes for this portion would give us 8 o'clock. And then I have a half hour to go. So I can count by fives six times to get the last half hour. And this skip is going to be worth 30 minutes. And that would take us back from 8 o'clock to 7.30 a.m. And that would be our answer. Now, sometimes what we can do is actually add all these numbers together and then use our math tricks to help us. So the first trick with counting backward an hour, that leaves 45 minutes. If I know I can count backward 15 minutes, that takes me to 8 o'clock. Then I can count backward 30 minutes, and that would get us to 730. Um, I'm not expecting that you would uh, be able to do that perfectly the first time out. But in later years, that would probably be something that you should be able to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at our unlock the problem questions. So number one, Patty went to the shopping mall at 11.30 a.m. She shopped for 25 minutes, then spent 40 minutes eating lunch. Then she met a friend at a movie. What time did Patty meet her friend? So our first thing is going to be starting at 11.30. So we could go ahead and write that in. And we've already got that. So we are going to count forward 25 minutes, and then we are going to count forward 40 minutes. So I can go ahead and do my 25, and that would be five skips of five. I'm going to draw a bigger uh, thing here to show that's where we're stopping. So my 25 would take me up to 30 plus 25 would give me 11.55. And then we are going to count forward 40 minutes. Now, one of the problems that we are going to hit is that in five minutes, we are going to get to 12 o'clock. So that will start a new hour. So I would have 12 o'clock 
right here, then 1205, 1210, 1215, 1220, 1225, 1230, and then my last skip of five, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. My last skip would give me 1235. And so as long as you remember, once we get to 60 minutes, we start a new hour, we could keep counting by fives and then this will give us our other 40 minutes. And our starting or ending time, excuse me, would be 1235. Um, our last question, <clears throat> actually the second one kind of continues uh, the thought from the first one. Um, the last one that we're going to do is number three. So Avery got on a bus at 1.10 p.m. The trip took 90 minutes. Then she walked for 32 minutes to get home. At what time did Avery arrive at home? So if I want to go ahead and make a number line, I can do that. And then I will show you with the number line. I probably should be using my ruler um, to help me with this. So 110. If I do 90 minutes, I can go ahead and count by tens. So my 110. And then I can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And that would give me my first skip. And then I could count and write in, if I were using a pencil, uh, this would give me 120, 130, 140, 150, 2 o'clock. So I'm going to jot down 2 o'clock to let us know that we are switching hours. Then 210, 20, 30, 40. And then we can do another 32 minutes. So here's 250. Three o'clock would be this part here. And then we have our last 10, which would take us to 310. And then we have two ones that we can do. And so these would each be um, this would be 30 minutes. So here's 90 plus 30, and then plus 2. And that would give us a final time of 312. Now, with the numbers that they were given us, if you remember that 60 minutes is an hour, 120 minutes would be two hours. So one of the ways, once you get used to doing this, that we could speed this part up is we know that 60 plus 30, or excuse me, 90 plus 30 is going to give us two groups of 60. So that would change us from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And then I have two more minutes that I have to count up from 310. So we would change the hour twice. We would have 310, count up two more minutes for the last two minutes here, and that would give us to 312. So um, hopefully that helps. Uh, explain what we're working on for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in Google Classroom. Again, with the length of time to kind of work through each thing, um, I just wanted to do those limited problems. So if I've skipped over the other page, I will put the answers in a, an explanation of how to do those um, in the comments for Google Classroom. So hope you have a great day. Uh, thank you to everyone that was able to come out to the conference call today. Um, we will have another one of those on Thursday that will be open for everyone. And actually, the one for tomorrow will be as well, um, but I would like you to, um, if that one's not required to check in. I'm just making them optional um, so everybody that wants to come hang out can do that. So have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.